Hey everybody, here's another water comparison video. Tonight we're doing a sparkling flavored water called LaCroix. And I have 10 different flavors of LaCroix, and I'm going to compare them all. I'm going to start with two at a time, and then I'm going to do semifinals, and then I'm going to pick which one is my personal favorite. And the crazy thing is, I have 10 different flavors here, and these are not even all of them. They have even more than 10 flavors. So, this is going to take a while, so I'm just going to get started. And we're going to start with tangerine. Tangerine versus lime. Okay, here we go. A little bit like orange, kind of. Tangerine. Yeah, I don't. This doesn't really taste like lime to me. It tastes kind of like like a balloon, kind of. It's kind of a weird taste. Well, okay, out of these two, I'm going to say tangerine is the winner. And so what we're going to do is at the end of the video, I'm going to do a taste test of all of them combined. So lime is out. Goes in there. All right, next up is coconut. These tall cans are like weird flavors. They're like flavors mixed together. And this one is called Pompeii Bay. So these small cans were sold at uh, Amazon and at the store Giant Eagle. The tall cans were sold at Target. Here's coconut. When it first touches your tongue, you get the flavor of it. But then you're kind of overwhelmed by the bubbling. Um, and once the bubbling starts in your mouth, it kind of overtakes the flavor. But it's definitely coconut to start out with. Here's Pomi Baya. I don't even know what that is, to be honest. Um, I don't know. This tastes like a bunch of different random fruits mixed together, like, kind of like pineapple a little bit. So I'm going to say, out of these two, coconut is my favorite. So this one is out. I was watching other people compare these uh, drinks on YouTube. Someone said coconut is their least favorite. But I don't agree with that. So here's Cirrus Limon versus Pina Fraza. I don't know what either of those mean, but that's what they're called. Here's Pina. This is also kind of like a pineapple. Yeah, there's a picture of a pineapple in it. Let's see this. Oh, this has like an apple on it. Hmm. And Sierra Limon has like cherries and some other fruit on it. Hmm. Yeah, I'm picking up the cherry a little bit. So, I've never had... Um, this drink before. I, I've seen this at grocery stores for the past few years. This is the first time I've ever tasted it. It's, for a sparkling flavored water, it seems pretty good so far, but I personally prefer regular still waters. These two are pretty close. I'm just going to say cherry is, is better out of the two. This one is out. Like I was saying, I had to buy these at different locations because like each of the stores didn't have all of them. And so I had to buy these in cases of 12 and 8 
And so these tall cans were sold in packs of eight at Target for four dollars and thirty nine cents. These short cans were sold at Amazon and Giant Eagle for four dollars and forty nine cents for packs of twelve. Uh, these have the standard can sizes like that, um, you know, Coke and Pepsi have. These taller ones, they actually match the sparkling waters, the sparkling versions of the Sawney and Aquafina. But it's kind of weird that they're tall. Like, they're easier to, to knock over. Okay, so let's go on to the next one. Kiwi, Sandia, and Pampolu, which is a word for grapefruit. So kiwi, it looks like a piece of cake <laughs> and like an orange or something. I guess it's a kiwi fruit. So here we go. It's kind of weird too. The tall ones have a dark lid. The short ones have the regular um, tab. Like squirt it up and just hit me in the head. Yeah, this one's definitely better. Just, I'm comparing two at a time because if I did them all at once, I would just not remember like how good they are and what they taste like. So to me, it just makes more sense to do two at a time. Okay, next up is berry and pure. So pure is just no flavor at all, just regular sparkling water. Tastes like a berry. What else is there to say about it? <sighs> the berry is just <sighs> better. I don't like sparkling waters. This is just all nothing but sparkling. So, pure is out. So this is from a company called National Beverage Company. They also make Fago and Shasta. They're not very well known, I guess, because I haven't heard of them until today. So let's do, what shall we do? We've got five left. I guess let's just do, I was going to do a semifinals, but there's no way to evenly do it, so... I guess let's just pick a winner after we go through these. Tangerine. So I found out that LaCroix is the number one selling sparkling water in the United States. I mean, it's kind of weird. I've never had it until today. Coconut's like one of the only ones you can smell. Like, I smell coconut just from inches away. Here's Sirius Limo. Kiwi Sandia. I'm just gonna eliminate both the tall ones. I don't. I don't like them. It's you have the water, you have sparkling, and then you have two flavors in each of these. It's just too much. With the coconut, you know you're getting coconut. With the berry, you know you're getting a berry taste. These, it's just too much. Maybe it's because I'm doing so many at once and I'm getting like 
all these other flavors in addition to those two. But anyway, in my opinion, those ones are out. So we're down to tangerine, coconut, excuse me, and berry. I think tangerine should just be called orange. It tastes like orange soda to me. Um, but it's called tangerine. And they're all pretty close. So it's called the Croix. I believe that's the correct way to pronounce it. Looks like La Croix or La Croix or something. And so a lot of people, I guess, thought it was French, but I think it's from Wisconsin, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, It is cool that there's um, zero calories, zero carbs, zero sodium, zero protein. That's all good. And they say it's naturally flavored, whatever the hell that means. If you've ever had this before, Leave a comment with what your favorite flavor is. But I'm going to say that the winner is coconut. It's just, um, you know, I was just saying that other person on YouTube said it was like the worst flavor. Uh, I'm saying it's the best, though. Because it really just comes down to my opinion for this. And just another heads up, I've said this in previous videos, but I don't like sparkling waters. I'm very biased against them. So, uh, <laughs> there you go. Let's pour this, let's mix it up a little bit. Add some coconut. Mix it up. Do a taste test with them all combined. Ten LaCroix. Yeah, it's not that not as good as the other ones. It's just too many flavors at once. Tastes like, like the berry one. It's, I don't know why, it just does. Like pineapple and berry, kind of. I don't even know why I did that. But anyway, I was amazed by how, like, popular this is. You know, there's tons and tons of people on YouTube doing the same exact video. Reviewing many different flavors um, but there's also people on YouTube like making music videos about how much they love LaCroix and I just don't understand it it's I don't know I think the cans are kind of ugly to be honest I mean I'm colorblind but some people were saying how much they love the, the cans I'm just, like how creative they are and stuff I think it's kind of ugly and there was a guy who, like, dedicated an entire YouTube channel to just how much he loves LaCroix. And then they sent him, like, a couple free LaCroix, and they sent him a LaCroix t-shirt. And he was acting like he won the lottery <laughs> because he got, he got some LaCroix and um, a t-shirt. It's not terrible. It's not the worst I've ever had. Uh, but it's just not my cup of tea, I guess. And so, every John Drinks Water episode, I drink a bottle of water. And it's debatable whether these are even waters, since they have flavor and 
the sparkling stuff. So I'm just going to drink a regular bottle right now just to end the episode. So it's an official episode, so here we go. Oh, this is so much better. This is so much more refreshing than these stupid sparkling waters. Well, it makes your regular water makes your mouth feel clean and pure. It doesn't leave it feeling sugary like these other ones. I mean, I guess these are better for you than, like, Coke or Pepsi, I guess, but, um, they just don't taste good. So, anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.